Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here for a massive night in Liverpool at the MLS Arena. Peter McGraw joins me after his professional debut, a successful professional debut as well. If you can, sum up that experience. Uh, from start to finish, it was amazing. Like Walking out on that, uh, literally must have been in the whole arena and everyone that was in there all screaming for me, all got behind me. Uh, they all loved the walkout tune, they all were supporting me, you know what I mean? Chanting my name, Peter McGraw, this Peter McGraw, lad, it was a... Uh, Brilliant experience for me and happy I got the win for everyone. Is it one of them now where you just want to go and fight next week because you've got that buzz now and you know what it's like as a professional and yeah, I can imagine you just want to get back in the ring straight away? Yeah, I'd love to go and do that all over again, do you know what I mean? Just get the ring walked, fights, get the, get the decision and that, everything, everything about it was just amazing and uh, happy I got the win. Obviously, like you said, happy you got the win, but do you have to sort of soak up a professional debut as well? Because they're not all going to be like that. Sometimes you'll fight away from Liverpool and you won't have as many people there. So do you sort of have to soak up the, the lights, the fact you're nice and hype the bill and, and make the most of what for the first couple of years is probably the biggest fight you'll have? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I took it all in well. I soaked up the ring walk. I was singing along with my tune. I was looking at everyone. who was saying, come on, do you know what I mean? It's just brilliant to be boxing in front of scouts instead of... Uh, halfway around the world in Russia with no one there, do you know what I mean? So it was um, a special moment for me and obviously for the family and, and me gym having a triangle. Um, one question you have to ask every sort of successful amateur who turns over to professional in terms of like just being hit with them gloves, um, even the cameras being there in the crowd as a whole package, sort of talk to me about the differences between fighting in a top amateur tournament and something like tonight. Um, I'd probably say the difference in tonight's fight and in other fights was so a lot of us a lot slower pace because uh, it was quite negative. The kid who were boxing, you know what I mean, very experienced and. Oh, and I suppose in the amateurs you only box top kids. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's that basically yeah the level come down a bit. You know what I mean? And uh, you've got to stay composed because they're looking for you to just rush the fight, make mistakes, and land one or two. Or he was also a bit uh, dangerous with the head and I'm looking to fight as many times as possible this year, pretty soon, and obviously be as busy as I can next year, but. I don't want to take no daft cuts in where I can uh, box for a few months. It's only me and I want to get as many fights in as I can now in this early stage of my career so I can keep the ball rolling well. Yeah. And Obviously, I imagine back out again soon, but just in terms of the the opponents, you said he was quite dangerous with the head and he was quite negative. Do you have to just fight loads of different opponents? So negative fighters, uh, fast fighters, southpaws, fight as many as you can early on just to get yeah. pretty much every experience possible. Yeah, definitely. Well, as an amateur, I've boxed... I've had well over 100, 140 fights, you know what I mean? I've boxed all different styles, but uh, you don't box many styles like that. Just uh, that don't really come to win, you just come to survive. And uh, it's hard to look good against, you know what I mean? But I felt like I'd done the best I could do was stay composed, uh, didn't didn't make too many mistakes, didn't rush the fight. And yeah, happy with the six rounds and uh, absolutely buzzing with the reception that I got. I just I still can't believe it. It was a. Uh, Amazing, and I thank all, everyone in there. It made, made it a special night for me. I'm going to be quite disgusted, though. You can say no, yeah. Can you show that blister on camera? It's, lad, it's all wrapped up, I'd show you. But the, obviously... Can, they, can, you, can you show them? I know that's kind of... Can, can you? Show them, mate. They, Look how bad... Like, I've never seen anything like that in my life. But that's not compared to what it looks like on my foot. If, if it weren't, I didn't have a bit of dressing on, um, I'd show you, like, but... Um, yeah, all stuff like that. Why you can even walk with that? Nah, like, but obviously that that happened a few rounds into the fight, but stuff like that happens. It's gonna happen all over, all over the, uh, all over, all through my career. I'm gonna might get injuries in the fight, but obviously you can't let it affect your performance. You just you've just gotta carry on. And my feet slow down a bit. You might just slow down a bit, but obviously if your feet slow down, you move your head more. So yeah, you just adapted. I just adapted in the ring and got the job done. And I'm happy with the win, and we're gonna push on from here now.